skills that our employers are demanding. Skills USA competitors compete for gold medals and the opportunity to go on to state and national competitions for scholarships and other awards. Last year I went into skills and I went into tech prep and that was the best year ever. I, I was a junior then and that year we actually got a gold at states and then we went on to nationals and I won a gold at nationals for tech prep with my team of two other participants. Greg Marshall, a senior at Bethlehem's Liberty High School, also attends the Bethlehem Area Vote Tech School for Carpentry. My first block is AP Calculus, and then I have uh, American Government and Economics, and then I come to Vote Tech for the rest of my day. Greg and three other students from his Vote Tech participated in this year's Skills USA competition at Allentown's Agriplex. They worked as a team against four other vocational schools in Skills USA's District 11 which includes Lehigh, Monroe, Northampton, and Upper Bucks counties. This year we did Teamworks, which is a team of four people. I was the carpenter. We had a plumber, an electrician, and a mason. The Teamworks is, simulates the building of a house. We'll have a, a mason, masonry student that will lay out the block foundation. We'll have a carpentry student that will lay out the floor system and build walls with window and door openings. We'll have a plumber that will run supply and waste and vent lines. And we'll have an electrician that will do uh, electrical hookup to lights and switches. Skilled industry professionals judge the competitors. A team can achieve a total of 100 points and different areas of criteria that are, that are watched are uh, workmanship, the ability to work together as a team, quality, safety, knowledge of skill, uh, making sure that they construct things that are plumb and square and so forth. That was part of the whole teamwork idea was communicating skills and just working together to get as much as you can done as fast and as efficiently. It was about each person leading in the task that was at hand so the most knowledgeable person would direct everyone else on what to do. These students stand among the best in their schools and demonstrate the qualities needed to excel in the workforce. These young adults have the attitude they have the willingness to learn, and they are really doing a good job when you talk to the private sector. According to statistics cited by Education Week magazine, the national high school graduation rate is 68.8 percent. For SkillsUSA, it's 97 percent. So students that get involved with SkillsUSA love being involved with SkillsUSA and graduate and stay involved. And for the most part, they all set their sights on careers that involve the skills learned at Votech and through Skills USA. I mean, I've always kind of thought of it maybe having my own company or something like that, having people work for me. If not, then I mean, I could work for somebody, work for a private electrician. I want to go on and like get a job out in the field and become a better mason. I just kind of want to work with a good plumbing company. I'd like to just uh, graduate from high school and go on hopefully to college, uh, a five-year program. Um, I was going to take construction management. It's also called architectural engineering in some areas with a concentration in construction management. Today's tech students, like Greg and his teammates, have more than just core skills because Votex and their affiliate schools also integrate math and English into workshops and classes. There are many, many employers walking through the skills competition looking specifically to hire people. Uh, we've had cases where after the competition, employers have come up and presented them with an application because they would like to hire them. Votech graduates today can make upwards of $20 an hour, depending on their field. Plus, they may find lots of opportunities for new talent as baby boomers retire. There are so many people retiring that they're starting to look now for our students so that they can build their pipeline. Because when these people retire, there's not going to be enough people to fill their spots. The Bethlehem Area Votech team didn't get the gold this year, but there's always next year. It would be nice to go on next year, senior year, and uh, take gold and go on and win everything. It would feel really good. These students also know that just being selected to compete in SkillsUSA says a lot about their abilities, motivation, and future.